All right, guys, so went out today, and <sighs> this is what employees do for you. Can't make this up, guys. Let's talk about it. Alright guys, so we're one of our commercial products right now. That bad boy with all the rain. Look. <laughs> that bad boy grew up on us. That's about a week and a half of growth, but it rained on it about ten times. But anyway, the video I just saw you showed you with this string trim. And I'm not talking about anybody, I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. I'm not coming down on anyone, not putting anyone on front street. Is that a problem? If you have employees, I need you to chime in and tell me, is damaging equipment a problem? Because I'm just gonna tell you about me. That's the second power head. Now that was a combi unit. That's the second power head in a year that I've had done that same way. Got up under the truck, got up under the trailer, got ran over. And I've had two string trimmers in the last two years. We're working on the job site. All of a sudden, string trimmer's gone because it was laid down. Have no idea of who got it. No idea. But it's gone. So what do you, how do you, how do you, I don't even know what I'm really asking. How do you handle that? How do you, how do you fix that? Is there a fix? Let me show you something. Let me show you something right now. I just saw this. That is what we cut our string with. See where it is? This is the trailer. If I don't get that, or if they don't happen to see it when they come back to the trailer, this will be gone before we get to where we're going. I'll guarantee you. So, like I say, I'm, I'm, you know, and I know this, you know, some subjects, you know, you don't want to talk about, but I mean, it's happening. And, you know, I need some help with that. Because that uh, comedy unit I just showed you, I bought that in July. You know what a 2620 combi head called. Not a string trimmer, but the head. Well, you may come and tell me how you... What you think of that? I, 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 don't, I don't know if you can tell me what you would do. Just tell me what you what, what what's your thoughts. Let me go back to work, guys. Enjoy the video. All right, guys. So we at our next property, and this is one of the this is the last property that we have that was behind. As you can see, it's grown up. And this is like three weeks. We hadn't been able. We hadn't been here in three weeks. We hadn't been able to get here. It rained us out. And, but after we finish this one, guys, we will be, we will be caught up. We will catch completely up to that. So we're going to get it, uh, we got to get it aired up, we got to get it cleaned up. And I'll bring you back a thing. But we are caught up, guys. All right. All right, guys, and there it is. We're done with it. And that bad boy was tall. I ended up cutting it on. I think three and a quarter to finish it up. So yeah, guys, we're caught up and we're headed to the next. All right, guys, got it up there. So it's Thursday morning and we're continuing. And uh, after yesterday, guys, we're caught up. So we're caught up from all the work that we were behind. And today, this morning, early this morning, 8 o'clock, we had a new property. Take a look. So you're still getting new property this time of the year. Yes, sir. All you got to do is go out and execute, guys. Do the work and do it right. And again, this woman here has been watching us about two years. And not even here because we don't even do lawns in this, on this street or really in this, this little area here. This would be the first. But 
She has a friend. We do her to her lawn. Do it and do it right. We'll come back with a finish. I'm not gonna get any footage. So yeah, we are. Uh, we got a full day today, and uh, but we gotta get it done. Uh, I don't know, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting pretty full, pretty quick. Let me get started. All right guys, and there it is. She also does this lot over here. It's not hers, but she mow it. And a little bit more in the back that I did. We'll go around the back, but you got them. They're doing some work around there, but there it is. Again, new property guys. When you're doing your work, do it right. We headed on to the next one. So, yeah, guys, uh, we're our next property, but, you know, leave me a comment about that. Uh, how do you, how do you deal with equipment and, and stuff being damaged? And if you're listening, you can hear my lawnmower in the back. One of the guys on the lawnmower in the back. And the grass is kind of thick, and I can listen to it and see he hadn't adjusted the deck yet. You know, and this is, it's not like they don't know that. You know. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking for some answers, probably. It's not like this is stuff that, a lot of stuff that happens, you, you know better. You know not to do these things with the equipment. And then you do them anyway, like laying stuff down. You know, people steal now. People come to your house and steal you, try to steal your equipment from your house. So if you're out, you know, what, what are they going to do? You know, I've had, I've had two, uh, this blower, this blower right here. You see the choke? Like right there? The choke is gone. The choke is broke. Now, the way that choke is made, it's made like this. Unless you're doing something, you know, you shouldn't be doing, it's kind of hard to break that. You tell me, I, you know, maybe I don't do this every day, but it's, it's kind of hard to break that. I had that broke in my 8010. One of the guys put raw gas in it and locked it up. So that's a, I don't know if that's a tip or what, but don't ever put raw gas in your handheld stuff like your trimmers and your blowers. It'll lock it up. Put it in there. And the same time he put it in there and used it, he didn't finish blowing and he locked up. Gone. Couldn't even get it fixed. So leave me a comment. I'm just, you know, I'm just talking, man. I'm not talking about nobody. Just talking about what I'm talking about because I know this is this can get to be a sensitive subject. Leave me a comment and tell me how you deal with that. All right, guys, John with us still. So today, guys, uh, Today is Monday, uh, right after all the big rain last week, and we're catching up from, uh, still catching up from last week. I got fried this work, and I have some others that, some I'm just going to have to roll over, but okay. Uh, today, man, I had two that I have to get. They're new properties, and they're coming in a pack of three. Take a look. This one, and there's a story behind this one. And I'll tell you this uh, as we go on. But I'm doing this one and that one right there next door. And they they need more. Grass is kind of thick, you, you see it. And I'm doing this one over here. We're doing this one. Now, I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, nobody uh, could make it to work today, so today I'm solo, guys. And I'm still playing catch-up, if you can believe that. And nobody showed up for work today. So let me get started. I'll be back. All right, guys. So I'm going to take a look at these, uh, these beds. And this was supposedly a big company was doing these. And uh, take a look at these beds. This is the biggest complaint. Look at this. 
And this is not the first time I've seen this from this company. She said this, let the beds grow up. So, look at the beds. Look at that. She said this is why they're letting them go. Look at those beds. Let me finish this up. Me, will take it home. All right, guys. So I got all my string trimming done. The beds are clean. I'll show you the beds when I show you the finish. But the beds, guys, it took me every bit of five minutes to clean those beds. If you know what they're looking at. But now here's the story. And I got a question. Take a look. This property. I don't know if you recognize it, but we were doing this property. We did this property for about three years, four years. Beginning of the year, they put that fence up. And, you know, some lawn companies, they do fence work too. I don't, but anyway, um, some of these properties, like in these subdivisions, you know, they have HOAs that get together. And you'll have two or three or four clients that will go with the same company. That's the deal here. She, uh, I called that the first of the year to get started. And she said, we're having the fence put up, some dirt put in the backyard because the backyard was low. She said, I'll call you when they're done. I never received a call. So, so I, um, I just went on. And like I said, I never received a call. Well, last week she calls me. And she said, hey, um, tell me who she was. I knew who it was. She said, uh, the company we're using now, they have let my beds grown up town frustrated she say and uh i was calling to see how can i can i get back on the schedule she said i know because she knows you drop me I'm, I'm, I'm probably not coming back she say but what i'll do she said i'll sweeten up the pie she say my next door neighbor she said all of us are using the same company and she said they're just not cut she said and i told all of them she says another property down the street she say i told them you never let my beds get like that well no i didn't so she said, all those will come. She said, but we want a deal. She said, on weekly service. You come every week and service our properties and keep them looking good. And you do everything. I made a deal with them. But my question to you, like I say, normally I don't come back. Tell me, would you take this property back? Knowing everything you know. But you you know, you know, if they drop you, you don't come back. I know I'm talking to somebody. Because they're talking to me. Would you take this property back? Leave me a comment. Let me go to work. I got to get this mowed.
guys. So I want you to take a look at something. Picked this up last week. Guys, this is still a BR700. Take a look at it. Real good looking blower. So my 8010 locked up on me. I found out what it is. One of the guys put just regular gas in it, and I mean burn it up. You saw the video about my BR600. I had to put the handle off of the 350 on it to get it to work, and it's running. But I was gonna buy me a BR700, because the BR700, biggest I need for what I do, you see what I do. And it'll blow the leaves that I have. And I have a good bit of leaves, but that 700 would do it. The 600 did it last year, and the year before, and the year before. But I found this blower at the pawn shop, guys. I just, we just happened to go in there. I got that for $125, guys. And I'm gonna, hey, set it up. And uh, I'm getting ready to uh, blow everything off. All right, guys, that's the finish. And that one, guys, is loaded with Zoysia. And it is nice and pretty and green all the way to the back. And here's the other one. And we got these on a weekly. Hey guys, how about that blower? Upscale lawn care is what we do. See you.